Back in 1961, Billy Macon Sr. graduated from Anchorage High School, now formerly known as West Anchorage High. But when he received his diploma, it had a red stamp right in the middle that, with words that have stayed with him for the past few decades. That hurt. It, it hurt me. I didn't put my diploma on display strictly because of his. What was supposed to be a day of celebration, excitement and accomplishment became a day of sorrow. At 19 years old, Billy Macon Sr. walked miles to school in the snow and worked two jobs to support his growing family. He barely had time for homework. I got a job at, you know, with the janitors. I would work busting dishes till 12, 1 o'clock till the function was over. And by the time I got ready to make that mile and a half trek on the way home, and when I got home, I couldn't do much homework because I had sleep in my eyes. In May of 1961, Macon received this diploma after graduating from Anchorage High, a red stamp in the middle that says, quote, the student met the minimum state requirements. I thought I had done something amazing by getting a diploma with the family. Macon quit school twice, but it was a close friend who encouraged him to go back. He said, if you go back to school and get your diploma, says you be more man. Yeah, it's a lot. Excuse me. <laughs> His family says they don't often see Megan sad, but this hits home, making him feel like a failure. For someone to call out that you didn't do as well as you should have was really harmful to his spirit. 60 years later, thanks to his granddaughter, Tafina, Macon got a new diploma just last month and even got a surprise graduation ceremony just for him. Unbelievable. The only thing I can say it was, was unbelievable. My little granddaughter said, I'm going to make this right some kind of way, and she did it. I'd like to publicly apologize for the sadness that you have felt due to the unfortunate stamp in your diploma so many years ago. And I'm happy today that we're able to make it right. Yes. <laughs> After two years of emails and phone calls, she turned to social media. See, I just put up a post on, on Facebook calling out Anchorage School District. I literally sat in the car and had responses from people. Today, in the age of social media, the Macon family says to use your voice to stand up for yourself, because a little can go a long way. I was more determined to be a good parent. I don't know if it was supposed to be a blockade or a detour. 80 years old, so I figured I must have did a pretty good job. You did. Mr. Macon is a retired business owner, and he even went on to be a published author, and on top of it all, raised four children. Safe to say, he became very successful. Reporting in studio, I'm Paulina Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon.